Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be using a sketch. This is sketch Saturday number 692. And I'm gonna use this sketch to create a card. Um, then we're going to use, I'm gonna use Lighting the Way uh, stamp set and Go To Greetings. I'm gonna use the thank you in that. And then we're gonna use Fresh as a Daisy, um, the beautiful paper. We're gonna use a piece of that and we're gonna use um, a piece from this pattern here. So for this card, you're going to need, um, so you're gonna need your card base that is um, eight and a half, by five and a half, and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter. Then you're gonna need, I'm, I'm matting this um, with some white cardstock just to give some separation, and I'm using Lemon Lolly for my card base. <clears throat> There's some Lemon Lolly in the pattern. This is a, a piece of basic white cardstock. This is at four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and then the DSP is cut at four by five and a quarter. So those are your pieces there, and this is another piece, so you could cut to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. We have one for the inside, okay? Then for, um, I have two one inch strips. They just, they're gonna go, if you notice on this pattern, oh, I'll flip it the other way. It goes at a diagonal. So you just need, it's one inches wide, you just need enough so that it, it, it goes over the side on either end so that you can cut it away and get that angle. So I have two one inch pieces. I cut this from scrap and they're both long enough. So you need two of those. You need four pieces that are one and a quarter inch square. So they're one and a quarter by one and a quarter. Um, to fit into these four squares, and I cut these with our um, stylish shape dies. I used not the smallest, but the second smallest square to cut those out. I wanted the stitch detail, and these pieces will fit right in here. The smaller one just was too small for me to stack the two um, two different sizes in there and what I wanted to do. So those are there's those pieces. And then this piece here, um, I have a piece that's a, a white, basic white, that's half inch by one and a half. And then I have, this is wild wheat, which is another color that's in the paper, five eighths by one and five eighths. That's for our sentiment piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this off to the side here and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on our card. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get these two, we're gonna work on this piece before um, we attach it to our white. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get this glued down on our card, figure out where we want our angle, this, and make sure the orientation is right. go ahead and glue that down. And just make sure that this both ends go over the edge. does not take me long to get glue on my fingers. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and cut this away. Just following the edge of our um, four by five and a quarter piece of DSP. So there's that one. And then I know I got a little something there, but I have a little eraser thing that I can, 
or I can just do that. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to cover that corner, and we're going to try to match this angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a piece here, put some glue here at about where I want this white cardstock to sit. And we're going to cover up that corner. That, and then we'll cut this away. And if you end up having areas where you're missing some glue, you can just um, open it up like this. I think I went further down than I put the glue and just attach your glue there. Press it down. Make sure that's glued down. and then you can trim it off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and attach this to our base here. You do wanna make sure, um, I should probably say this first, before you cut the edges away, just make sure this is all glued down. I didn't get it perfect, which is fine, but um, it can cut the, the white cardstock into the DSP so you see that on there and um, for this design we would just want to cover it up. So now we're going to go ahead and attach this to our basic white card base. Card sketches are a really fun thing when you um, want to make some cards quick or uh, it helps with your inspiration if you just need to get in, get your mojo back. Or you just want to sit and craft without a lot of thought. Because some of our projects do take a lot of thought. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slide those off. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this to my card base. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. We're going to set these colored pieces of cardstock aside. And I'm going to bring in the scrap paper. I know I can stamp on that, but I've been going through this, so I'm going to do it on here. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead. I'm going to stamp my sentiment in wild wheat. Move you a little bit closer here while we're stamping. Stamp that with wild wheat. Okay, so that stamp will set that aside, clean that all off. Now we're going to go ahead and get some of these these out. So I'm going to do uh, my crushed curry first. So what I'm going to do with one of these squares is I'm going to um, my crushed curry out. Okay, so I'm going to put this big lightning bug right here on one of the squares and it takes this bigger I think I did it the smaller one to make it fit on here. Yes, so we're going to take this smaller square here and I'm just kind of lining or the circle, the lightning, the light, and I'm just going to kind of visually place this lightning bug uh, stamp on here just to give an idea of where that's going to go. Then I'm just going to move that and put my crushed curry 
light right there. Okay. Then for my other crushed curry piece, I'm going to take this stamp, which is this trail of lightning bugs here. And I'm going to get that on a block and just kind of stamp it. I'm going to use the bigger section of the stamp and um, just kind of make sure it stamps, stamps on there wherever you want it. Okay, there's our little trail of lightning bugs. All right, so I'm all done with the crushed curry. Put that away. For my bug, I'm using early espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back over so I can stamp him. And I'm just gonna make sure that his, his bottom gets into that crushed curry. those two pieces stamped and our sentiment stamped. Now I'm going to bring in wild wheat. We have two places, two things to stamp with the wild wheat. So we've got one of these squares and the inside piece of um, for the card. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my longer block and I'm using this stamp right here with the wild wheat. So I'm just gonna take, first we'll stamp the bigger piece for the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna ink this up. And I'm just going to place that wherever I want on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna twist it a little bit and add another layer. So there's the inside piece. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and ink it up some more get some of that up there and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of do across the square and then I'm going to twist and just add some more layers there so the we're done with the wild wheat Let's bring in some garden green and we're going to use um, this one which is this stamp right here. So we're gonna use that. And we got one more square to decorate here. So again, I'm just gonna place this wherever I feel like it needs to be. And then I'm gonna twist. Let's see, which way do I wanna twist? Just to give it more um, depth. Okay, all of our stamping is done, so now we can assemble our card, put all of these away, do that. So the first thing I'll do is I will um, go ahead and let's insert, I'm going to pull you back, let's insert this inside. glue on the back. Okay. There's our inside piece and now we're going to start decorating the front. Let's go ahead and put our little square, well let's put our sentiment onto our wild wheat piece. That's attached, and now we're going to start attaching these squares, these white squares to these uh, lemon lolly squares. that 
and you're just going to try to center them as best you can inside these um, lemon lolly squares. Now it's time to attach all of these to our card. So now you just need to figure out what order you want it in. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to do the green here. Once you place your square and you have it fairly lined up where you want it, and you get an idea of how everything's going to sit, then um, everything else should line up. So I'm going to go ahead and place this first one because I want the lightning bug in that position. Go ahead and set that right about there. Pick it up, make sure it's straight. That looks pretty straight. I'm going to do my wild wheat um, floral or leafy piece here. Make sure it has the same amount of a gap in there. And then I'm going to put this green one right there. making sure that this gap and this gap are fairly close to the same. Whoops. That looks pretty good. And then we'll put our last square in with our trail of lightning bugs. Now the next, the last thing to do is to place our sentiment strip, and we're going to put that right there. Now I'm going to use some scrap card stock because this to give this the height it needs. So let's see. Let's use some of this. And I'm just going to cut a little piece here. just so it doesn't um, bubble. Let's see how that sits. That sits pretty good, so we'll go ahead and place that. I'm just going to make sure that it's pretty straight. And there we go. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and add some embellishments. I love these um, in color dots. They're not extremely uh, raised. They do have a little bit of dimension to them, but they're just really nice. So I'm going to use um, some of this um, wild wheat. right there and it has the three different sizes put one over here and put one right about there and there's our card super cute very easy sketch. Now the measurements, um, the sketch didn't come with measurements. I did my own measurements to figure out about what they should be. So it's probably different because these squares look like they're smaller um, based on the scale, but I like really like the way this turned out. And this was my sample. I did this with the Garden Green. Um, I did Thanks for Lighting the Way sentiment from the Lighting the Way die set, but used um, a different paper but it still had the same colors in it 
and I think they both turned out really, really cute. And then I did the same thing on the inside here with the wild wheat trim. All right, well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the video, and go find a sketch. Again, this is Sketch Saturday, um, number 692, and um, make, some, make some cards. Okay, I'll catch you on the next one.